New at 6, another exclusive story you'll only see on 2 News. Several people in the Daybreak area worry that they won't make it across a set of train tracks without being hit. It's a scary situation. Many say they've had a close call while driving through the intersection of South Jordan Parkway. It's 106 South and Granville Avenue. Emma Riley spoke with a resident and the Utah Transit Authority. So, Emma, were they aware of the issue that's happening at this intersection? They were actually not aware of the issue. The tracks runs for about 45 miles. The one section that passes through that daybreak intersection doesn't have crossing gates, but it does have warning signals. I spoke to a daybreak resident that has lived there for the past six years, and he tells me he's never really had concerns until Monday. It was very alarming to come across the railroad tracks and have a train right there by your side. Elijah Radford was driving the same route home as usual, but yesterday was different when he crossed the intersection of South Jordan Parkway and Granville Avenue. Came across the, the railroad track, and I looked up the, the very last second, and there's a train just right here by the stoplight. In the six years that he's lived in Daybreak, Elijah told me this was the first time he had this close of an encounter with the train. Typically, as soon as they leave the station over here, uh, the, the lights will always turn red, and uh, gives you plenty of warning and, and the stoplight will turn red as well, but it didn't do that yesterday and it was a little, a little alarming. And he isn't the only one. In comments on a Facebook post, some Daybreak residents say it happened to them too. One Facebook user wrote that she'd seen the train go through twice when drivers on the street had green lights. If they were going through the intersection and they had a green light and our train came close, that's something that we need to take a look at. The Utah Transit Authority tells me they weren't aware of any incidents or malfunctions. Spokesperson Carl Arkey tells me they're now looking into potential issues at the crossing. The crossing does not have a gate. Is it unusual to not have a crossing gate at that intersection? Not really, no. In areas like this where there, there are a lot of sight lines and people can see trains coming from long distances and there's also traffic lights there that control that, that intersection, that's deemed to be sufficient. Elijah tells me it was a wake-up call for him to pay more attention while driving. The UTA tells me that safety is their number one priority and they're always looking to make these intersections safer. So if anyone notices anything or has any concerns, they're asking that you report it. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Emma Riley, KUTV 2 News.